हेलो गाइस दिस इज अदिल वेलकम टू माय चैनल मूवमेंट साइंस वेयर आई सिंपलीफाई बायोमैकेनिक्स विद जो इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग बिकॉज आई सिंपलीफाई बायोमैकेनिक्स ओवर हियर एंड आल्सो टॉक अबाउट ऑर्थो टॉपिक्स एंड लॉट ऑफ क्लिनिकल एप्लीकेशंस व्हिच यू कैन यूज इन योर डेली प्रैक्टिस आल्सो चेक मी आउट ऑन इंस्टाग्राम वेयर आई पोस्ट डेली एमसीक्यूज एंड आल्सो पिक्चर ऑफ माय नोट्स The reference time for all the topics that I'm going to cover will be mentioned down in the description so check that out and let's get started So in this video we are going to talk about the tarso metatarsal joint structure Last few videos we saw the structure and the function of the hind foot under that we saw the tarocular joint and the subtalar joint then we also went to the transverse tarsal joint and in this video let's look at the tarso metatarsal joint now the articulation that occurs in the tarso metatarsal joint is a plain synovial joint which means the joint has a capsule around it with a synovial fluid and the predominant motion that occurs in this joint is a gliding motion so now let's start with the articulation between the base of the metatarsals and the tarsal bones so the first articulation takes place between the base of the first metatarsal and the medial cuneiform so if you look at the foot over here this is your metatarsal the first metatarsal and this is your cuneiform and that is the first articulation that is between the base of the first metatarsal and the cuneiform that is bone to bone articulation that occurs and this joint has its own capsule whereas the other two articulations which we are going to see will have a common capsule that is the second and the third will have its own capsule and the fourth and the fifth will have its own capsule now the second metatarsal base articulates with the middle cuneiform that is these are the three cuneiforms right so, so this is the middle cuneiform and it articulates with the middle and the sides of the other two so these are the two medial and lateral cuneiforms and as you can see it articulates here with the medial cuneiform and over here with the lateral cuneiform so that was the second articulation the third articulation is the third metatarsal that is the over here the third metatarsal it articulates with the lateral cuneiform predominantly it articulates with the lateral cuneiform it also shares some of the articulations with the cuboid bone because it is a artificial bone set and also uh to keep all these structures together you have to put the drills so you exactly cannot see all the articulations but yeah the third metatarsal articulates with the lateral cuneiform then coming to the third one that is the third metatarsal articulates with the lateral cuneiform over here right so that was the third one and under the fourth articulation the base of third and the fourth metatarsal they together articulate with the cuboid bone there is some amount of articulation of the third which you cannot see over here in this one but fourth definitely it has a articulation with the cuboid and then finally the base of the fourth and the fifth that is fourth and the fifth articulate with the cuboid there is proper articulation of the fourth and the fifth with the cuboid and both of these bones they have a common capsule right so the first metatarsal was simple that is first metatarsal to the medial cuneiform then the second was it was sharing with the middle cuneiform and the other two cuneiforms at the side third was with the third metatarsal simple then third and fourth that is third and fourth over here they were sharing the lateral cuneiform and the cuboid whereas fourth was again sharing with the fifth the cuboid bone right so the base of the fourth metatarsal shares its articulation with the third as well as with the fifth with cuboid and cuneiform right the first one has its own capsule whereas the second and third have a common capsule and the fourth and fifth have their own capsule now this joint gets its stability by the deep transverse ligament which prevents the metatarsal head from splaying so these are the metatarsal base and these are the heads of the metatarsal so in a normal foot these heads tend to go outward and splay right and these are held together by a transverse ligament now in this artificial bone set the work of the transverse ligament is done by this spring that you can see over here so that is basically the function of the deep transverse ligament that it prevents the metatarsal head splaying or going outward right so that's all we have under the tarso metatarsal joint structure 
that is we have the articulation that are five articulations where the first one has its own capsule where is the second and third having a common capsule and the fourth and the fifth having its own capsule and we saw the stability is provided to this joint by the deep transverse ligament which prevents the splaying of the metatarsal heads that's all for today guys thank you for watching if you like my content please share it with your friends don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notified every time i post a new video also let me know in the comment section what other videos you would like me to cover thank you for watching